Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and I have been making a lot of healthy meals. You all know I changed my whole eating style and um, I've had several comments on there. I think that's wonderful. People say keep the healthy recipes coming. Um, I still do other recipes from my family and stuff and I will always include them in my channel. But this is my little journey to health and I eat a lot of Mediterranean, um, the, the Mediterranean diet. Now, I'm not on a Mediterranean diet plan or anything like that, but I eat a lot of Mediterranean food. But anyway, tonight is a little special night because, of course, Mother's Day is tomorrow. I'm all by myself, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make something up today that I can just enjoy tomorrow. And with that, I'm going to show you what we're going to make. I am going to do spaghetti with my home canned garden tomato sauce. And instead of the noodles, I am going to use spaghetti squash. So I'm going to show you guys how I make that. Let, let's not forget, I am also going to use ground turkey in my recipe. So let's get busy. Okay, first off, we are going to... Let me see here. I've got stuff in my oven. I store a lot of big trays in my oven. So, we are first going to turn our oven on to 400 degrees. Okay, let that preheat. I've got a tray over here. Now, I am just going to cut this. There we go. But it works. There we go. Okay. Now the easiest way that I know how to scoop these out is with a uh, ice cream scoop. Okay. So with these, I am just going to drizzle these with a little bit of olive oil and spread it around in there, okay? Spread that all around. Beautiful. Okay, rinse my hands again. I got extra virgin olive oil. Now, I'm just going to do a little pepper. Well, for me, quite a bit of pepper. I love pepper. And just a little bit of sea salt. Not too much. Now, I'm going to flip these upside down. And those are going to cook for about 40 minutes or so until these the skin is nice and, and tender. And I can pierce it easy with a fork. Okay, friends. So while the spaghetti squash is in the oven, I'm going to start my turkey burger. I'm going to get that cooked up. Now, I'm not going to add anything but a little salt and pepper to this because my garden um, tomato sauce has everything in it. And I mean <laughs> everything. So I don't have to add any any extra spices because it literally is seasoned as well. Maybe just a little bit of um, salt and pepper and that's it. We're going to get this broke up. I may have to add a little bit of olive oil to this. Because turkey tends to be a little dry. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to add a tablespoon in there. There we go. Put some salt in here. Good. 
just about maybe a half a teaspoon. You can season it to your taste. But if I do too much, it'll be overboard because everything is already seasoned. This is really an easy meal to put together. And you know what? The leftovers, the leftovers can go right in the freezer, just like a TV dinner for another night. Perfect, hey? Or you can eat on it for a couple days. That's up to you. I'm not making an, a, a huge amount because it's just me here. So my excess will go in the freezer for another day. All right, friends, I'm going to let that cook down. And when I'm ready to add everything, I'll bring you back. Okay, friends, this is browned up pretty good. Now, I'm going to turn this down to medium low. And I am going to simply add my salsa. I don't want it all over my kitchen stove, so I just kind of tilt my pan. So I want to tell you, um, for those of you who are, you know, serious about your portion control and you don't know, you know, just how many ounces of meat you would be getting out of this, I've got a perfect cure for that. When you make your spaghetti sauce, you can take your ground turkey and you can make it into meatballs. You could take a one pound package, make it into eight meatballs, put it down in the sauce and just let it simmer until it's cooked. You know, add all your, your spices or whatever you want to add to it. And that way, when you serve up your spaghetti, you're going to know that two, two meatballs is going to be at least three ounces. Because, of course, it's going to lose a, uh, an ounce or so when it cooks. So that's the perfect way to do it. And I wouldn't really worry about the portion control on the spaghetti squash because it's like one cup of cooked spaghetti squash has 42 calories in it, I believe. So, you know, I mean, come on. You could just really, you know, fill up on that until you're satisfied. So it's still, all in all, it's a very low-calorie meal. Except for the little bit of cheese that we're going to put on the top of this, which is a little Parmesan, grated real Parmesan. So... It makes a wonderful, healthy meal, and I know I'm going to enjoy this. So anyway, I might add, I might add another jar of my sauce to this because that's an awful lot of meat for me, and I like mine a little more soupy. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's, that's more like it for me. I can even freeze this and uh, use it for later meals as well. So, now I've got this all put together. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All the vegetables. It's already seasoned. It's just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so I'm just going to let that. i got mushrooms and everything in there. Look at that. Just everything. I love it. And I've got a video on this as well, if you're interested in my home canned spaghetti sauce and my home canned garden tomato sauce. I got a video on each one of them. Um, so I'm going to let this, I'm going to put a lid on this. I'm going to turn this down on low because I just want this to simmer. Everything is already fully cooked in there. I just want it to simmer and the meat and the sauce marry together. So when I'm ready to serve this up, I'll bring you back and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, friends, these are done and out of the oven and look how beautiful those turned out. So you can still see they're steaming, they're screaming hot. So I am going to just let them cool down just enough so that I can handle them and, you know, scrape it out. Okay, friends, this has cooled down enough for me to just... Get my fork in here. Look at how gorgeous that is. And it's very hot on the inside. I'm going to put a little scoop of that right on my plate there. Now remember, one cup of this, if you want a 
feel like you're splurging, eat more of it. It is it's one cup cooked is equivalent to about 42 calories. Okay? So there's my probably a good cup and a half. All right, now I'm just going to use my same fork there. No sense in dirty in another one. I am going to use this serving spoon. Oh, look at that. It's so gorgeous. Absolutely. With all those vegetables. Beautiful, friends. Now, just one second. I'm going to put a little Parmesan cheese on mine. Probably about an eighth of a cup. Not very much at all. But take a look at that, friends. Is that not beautiful? It looks delicious, and believe me, it is. So there you have it. I hope you give this recipe a try. You're going to love it. And thanks for watching.